Hey everybody, it's me, Sean. Welcome back to Nantucket. Well, we have not quite managed to fill up our cargo barrels, but our morale is starting to get a little low. Not for Bill. Um, so we're going to head back to Nantucket here. Uh, but I do want to go over a couple of things that happened uh, in between. We killed a bunch of whales, of course. Um, I also picked up the strong trait. So occasionally you'll just get random sort of events happen and you can pick up traits from that. So I did manage to pick up the strong trait during that, which is cool. It gives me the, uh, the uh, uh, combat bonus. And if we look at our characters here, Richard, um, who has the Xenophilius trait, uh, his morale is minus three. Now my prestige, which is 19, you can see over here. So I've got a lot of prestige. Um, my prestige uh, makes him uh, happy. That increases his morale. Uh, our blubber increases his morale, but the days at sea gives him a minus 14, which is a lot. So um, that's not so good. Um, uh, he has lost combat, last combat outcome plus one morale, events outcome minus two, and that's because I had to complain that they were eating too much food. And um, another man has musician trait plus five morale. So Emil, he has the musician trait, which cheers everybody else up, uh, but his morale is minus eight. And that's mostly because of the days at sea. And then Bill, since Bill has the strong trait, and I have the strong trait, he gets a really big morale boost. He gets a 10-point morale boost for that. And you can see has the same trait as Captain. So that's a pretty cool effect. You want to look for people with the same trait, same traits as you. Uh, he also got plus 6 morale because he's the one who killed the last... Um, the last whale. So, uh, but because the morale is getting low for Emil and Richard, and I don't quite understand how low your morale can get when it starts getting dangerous, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and head back in anyways. I do want to see what does the uh, gourmet trait do? Plus 100% morale effect of the food. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Okay. I don't really. Gourmet trait plus 100% effect of the caboose, but we don't have a caboose, right? A caboose, I think, is... Well, I think we'll be able to see what that is when we get back to the dock, but I believe that's part of, like, a part of the ship. But either way, we're heading back. Up, oh, let's gather one more. Let's do one more hunt before we uh, make it back, I guess. Good thing we left some room in our um, thing. And I think Emil Richard is definitely unhappy, but he never gets any kills, but... It's going to continue along those routes. Uh, crew member damage minus 20%. Hmm. Oh, maybe we do minus 20% damage? We do, because he would normally do 5. But you know what? Minus 4 is enough against a baby nar narwhal, newborn narwhal. So very simple. Gather up our stuff. We're going to have a, a nice haul from this, from this uh, uh, voyage. Oh, nice. One last whale at the very end here. Use our same crew. And, oh, a great white shark. Okay. Well, that's something different. We haven't run into one of those yet. Aha, Emil is going get to the, get the death blow in. Nice job, Emil. Good job. All right. Experience, morale points, and some food. Look at that, we got 19, we have 19 barrels of food, a lot of food, 500 days worth of food. So we don't really need to take a lot of food with us, I don't think. Now what does that plus two mean? I'm not quite sure. Oh, we're two days late. Ah, got it. All right, well, let's enter the harbor. Okay, so a new issue of the newspaper is available. That's cool. Um, I haven't picked up any additional traits. Can I, if I click on these guys, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it just gives me, a, shows me their highlights. But here's our profit. We made $742 from Blubber. We didn't do any oil. The crew took $37 worth of it. Nice. All right, so that uh, definitely got us some money. Do we go here to complete our quest? Jobs. There we go, get reward. 200 more dollars for us, very nice. We do not have... Uh, we have to be level five to uh, to take this for or to take this thing. So can't do that. Let's close that out. 
Um, let's go to the general store. We definitely need to restock on water. Uh, we do not need all this food. We can get rid of a lot of food. I'm going to get it down to there. Okay, we need 100 days worth of grog. Well, that's too much, really. Um, there we go. And we definitely need more wood. Okay. All right, great. So, look at that. We have $1,500 left after we do these exchanges. So, that's fantastic. Okay, good. Uh, off to the tavern. So, do I want to... So, it does cost us one prestige to fire someone. Do I want to fire? Now, I like Demille because he has the uh, morale boost and he doesn't drink. But I like Bill because he's strong and he's... He, it keeps his uh, morale up. So I might get rid of a meal. Now, who was I wanting to bring on? Jonathan? No, Jose. I want to bring on Jose, but now I have 21 points. So I could bring on, let's see, what does this do? Sailing, speed is increased. Uh-huh, oh, that, that gives me the safe dock thing. Not really sure what that means. 50% uh, morale for crude deaths. Marvin, oh, he's got good attributes. Price reduction. Captain's cabin improvement. Well, that sounds good. You know what? Let's um, let's go back and take a look. So we had this. No, the caboose compartment. Caboose compartment available. Oh, okay, so we need a better ship to be able to see what that does. And it gives us a morale. Okay. Unlock sick bay compartment. Also not... Okay, so we just can't do these things in the current ship. We need a better ship. And we would need more money. So... Well, we wouldn't even want to ethyl because it's the same thing. Why? Why would I want to replace any of our ships? Or you know what I mean? Why would I want to replace our ships when all of these are basically the same? Get a rotten brig. So a rotten brig would have a um, stove, a tri works, and a shelving, and it would allow us to get more crew too. That's fifty-seven hundred dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. So it's gonna take us quite a while to get enough money for that. Hmm. All right. Well, cool, I guess. So I can't, I can't replace our ship at all. Uh, no need for repairs. So that's cool. All right. Well, can I, can I upgrade stuff? Not researchable. Not all requirements are met. Requirements. There's no other technology being researched in the city. Got it. So I'm already researching that. And uh, research ends March 31st. So I'm pretty close. So I might want to just sail out, do a little bit of um, stuff, and then come back. And I, I don't think we necessarily need more holds. We could get the one going faster, but I think I want to get this field of view thing for our next uh, technology. So getting getting some of these crew bonuses is not really going to help us out that much. Let's see. He gets bonus health points. That's nice. Jeremy here gets bonus health points. And we can hunt for food in safe docks. All right. But he, he's rowdy, so I don't really want that. This guy's greedy. Oh. So he gets a couple of bonuses on his attacks. This guy would probably be worth having around. Timothy. Like, I like Richard, but... So this guy gets four. Four out of six hits. 
Yeah, Richard didn't really serve us all that well last time. I might actually fire Richard, bring on Timothy. Because I kind of want to bring on one of these other interesting characters as well. Like, this would be nice. I'd like to see what that safe dock is. Marvin has that with no negative things. And Edgar here. Oh. What does he have for negative, though? Minus one working attribute. I still don't quite understand what that means. What's this? Character is used in the quarter deck compartment. Negates negative effects of weather and sea conditions. Hmm. Well, that sounds pretty good, too. And I don't really know what is blue. I don't know what those do. Alright. Uh, what could we get if we get one of these really advanced guys? Rebalance. Wow. Five out of six times one of his things would hit. Choose a die side of characters on the whale boat. Perk allows you to chop wood and safe dogs. Increase your food consumption. Install and improve the caboose. But we don't have the caboose. It's not available on our ship. Hmm. So that'd be a pretty good one too. Now this bandage one is really useful. Because that will uh, prevent the bleeding. Which we run into a lot. Characters... Stories health points to multiple targets. Boy, I kind of like this guy too. Yeah, I don't know about that though. What does he have? Uh, minus morale to other crew members. No thank you. So, health, uh, health points in the forecastle. And... Uh, sick bay component. Characters immune to all illnesses. Alright, we're going to fire Richard. And I think we're going to bring on um, <coughs> not Hugh. Is it Benjamin? Benjamin is pretty awesome. Oh, but he's annoying. Shoot. I do not want to bring him on. All right, so I'm not going to bring on Dave either then. No, we were going to bring on... Is it Edgar? I don't know what the working attribute means. But um, I guess it doesn't really matter? Question mark? It sure would be nice to know what that means. But he's got a bunch of awesome stuff, so we're going to go ahead and hire him. Now he gets a 7% lay. That's not too bad, I guess. Hire him. And I really want to keep Bill. But I like this guy's bonus morale and not drinking. So I think I'm going to fire Bill. Sorry, Bill. I know we're both strong. You helped me gain my strong trait. But I really want to hire... Oh, look at Lloyd here. Do it, wait. I used 10. Oh, I only have 9, so I can't hire Lloyd. But I could hire Ollie. Ollie gets the bonus health. And the... Oh, yeah, that's not so good, though. Plus morale for crew. Uh, no, I think this is the one that I wanted. Fasten and Pain Master. But he takes extra lay. This guy's annoying. No, he's rowdy. All right, so I want Timothy then. Let's go ahead and hire him. Good. Okay, I'd say that's a good crew. Okay. Um, we uh, have already done this, right? Did they bring a new job out for us? No, they didn't. So we'll close that. We don't have anything to do here. We bought all of our, our groceries and stuff. Um, ah, we don't need that. Okay. I'd say we're good to go. Okay, sail away, and we will look at our um, position everybody is taking. And we should have much better fighters, but I think this means we're going to be fighting against tougher whales. I believe your opponent, enemies, whatever, scale up based on like your average level. 
and we have much stronger crew members now. Um, so here we have, so I want this guy, this is our fighter, I want him in the healing place, and I want the blue guy sailing the ship because he gets a bunch of bonuses, and then I've got me just hanging, hanging out, chilling there. We don't really have any missions, so let's just go, let's just go hunt. And I want to see if I get, I, th I think I get the bonus experience points, I do, I get bonus experience points just for existing, so that's cool. All right. So I could create this safe dock. Oh, but I need 30 barrels of wood. All right, well, I need to remember that. Now, I'm still not entirely sure what it means, but you know what, we'll find out. Maybe not now, but eventually. Oh no! Um, I guess the, uh, oh, the whale mating time has ended. So you know what, let's just chill. Let's just head over to Horta. Uh, even though I've I've done all my hiring and stuff, so there's not a whole lot of reason. But let's go there anyways. We just need to find something to do. I should be able to start a new research project once we get there. All right, enter the harbor. Well, this is an exciting episode, huh? We're spending all of our time in the harbor. All right, nobody got paid. Hopefully that doesn't uh, annoy them. Ah, Maine was admitted to the United States. Stephen Decatur killed in a duel. Discover new whaling area in the Bering Sea. That is a far ways away. You know what? I am not interested in that. Thank you. Um, nope. Ah, see, here's where the food thing starts to uh, be like, hey, wait a minute. Maybe we should have a little more food. Um, go ahead and buy another craw. Nah, you know what? Um, we'll buy some more water, though. Doesn't hurt. Fine on wood. I could buy up that wood to build the safe harbor. I'm just going to stick with where we are. Um, no need to repair our ship or anything. They have a bunch of ships to choose from as well. They have a Francis. Which looks like a pretty awesome ship. $8,500 to buy that one. Alright, we're good. We're good. Aha, but can we, can we do the research? I guess we can't do any research here, huh? All right, sail away. Sail back to Nantucket. Now it's not for a while yet until the uh, until the feeding area becomes visible, right? Or usable? You know what I mean. Whoops, that does not. You don't move the map that way. There you go. Uh, June twenty-first. So yeah, we have a few months before we can do anything there. So I guess we're gonna. Uh, ah, our thing is ready in two days. Does that mean we have to actually be there when it's ready? Hey, what's that? Oh, that's our technology news. Cool. Maybe that's why we couldn't research anything in Horta. Oh, no upgrade possible, it says. All right. Now, do we automatically get our upgrade? Sandum harpoons installed, and a new issue of the newspaper is available. Well, that's nice. I wonder if, the, if our crew is getting upset that they're not having any uh, any stuff. The South Pacific. Oh boy, that's a long ways away. I mean, we could make it there. Ah, uh, you know what? Why not? We need to accept a job, right? I don't think they're going to get any easier. Uh, let's... I don't think we need to stock up on too much here. We'll go ahead and buy a food. There we go. Those are all good. Okay. Um, now, I w what kind of technology? I was going to go for the crow's nest next. So let's go ahead and research that. And uh, sail away again. Let's see if we can have some excitement during this episode. We did have a couple of fights at the very beginning, didn't we? Use rationing to restrict the consumption of food. All right, uh, so let's make sure everybody is still happy. Morale four, morale nine, morale nine. Great. Okay, so they're not upset that we've been um, that we've been floating around and doing nothing. <laughs> okay, good. So let's close that. And we are going to, we're going to go around the horn and make our way there eventually. Not much.
much we can, we can't really find any easier way, so we're just gonna go directly to M... Mbituba? All right. While inspecting your ship, you notice one of your men has set up a gambling table. He uses loaded dice, loaded dice to scam money from his shipmates. Hmm. I get the diligent trait. Timothy gets minus five morale. I get the greedy trait and fifty dollars. Well, the greedy trait's not so uh, so bad. <laughs> well, why would I do that? That's silly. I get the generous trait and lose $25. Huh. I'm going to be diligent. Alright. Oh, I get a working skill point. Well, that's cool. Uh, so what does Diligent do? Diligent, plus one point to spend in attributes. Well, that made my decision much easier if I had known that. Um, huh. Really not sure. I think I'm just going to go ahead and assign it to Hunting. And it's good, I guess. I still don't know what, uh, what those mean exactly, so... That hourglass is disabled. Oh, wait, what? I don't know what that means. All right, um, let's get that clock going. Looked like there was a storm there or something. We're running a few days behind on our way to a Matubatuba. Could create a safe dock if we wanted to. Still not. No whales. Hmm. I wonder if it's because we're staying so close to the shore. It's the wrong time of year for it. Don't know. All right. So it looks like a pretty minor, um, pretty minor port here. No jobs at all. Maybe probably only have one job at a time, I guess. No ship thing, but they do have goods. So we'll go ahead and buy up some uh, buy up some water and uh, some more food and some grog, I guess. Very expensive grog here. You know what? I'm not going to buy any. Hopefully we can make it out to that whale and back. You know, I can find out, can't I? Uh, there aren't any other... Um, aren't any other ports along the way, so we may have to, um, may have to take enough stuff to get there and back. Alright, how far is it? 48 days, so I do need more than 100 days worth of stuff, because it doesn't seem likely that we're going to, uh, you know what I mean, like, manage it perfectly. And uh, morale is going to be terrible by the time we get back. All right, so I need, yeah, let's let's be prepared. Ugh, very expensive. Should have stocked up while we were at home, but too late. Let's hope we get some some excitement out of it. It'd be a real shame if it was just uh, just a sale there and then that's it. Anytime now, there we go. So that's our destination. Let's go. Ah, we're one day ahead? Or does that mean we're one day behind? Three days ahead of schedule. Nice. Um, working with one of your men, we've got an 80% chance of taking on the teetotaler trait. I like it. We took it on. Very nice. And that is going to give us a bonus... Um, for the mood. Uh, we've got crew upgrade. Oh, crew, uh, Emil has gained a... He uh, gets to take a class on. He's gained a level. Nice, very nice. So, what will he do? He could be a hunter, a sailor, scientist, or craftsman. Let's make him a scientist. 
He's he's been up there in the crow's nest. He's like enjoyed looking at everything. Good job, Emil. Doctor Science. Does that mean you get anything? Well, when you go out in the ship, you can roll your little science dice. That'll be fun. Um, cool. All right. Well, that's a nice way to wrap up our episode. Uh, hey, I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm definitely having fun. And uh, hopefully you are too. If you are, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Click that like button. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And uh, join me for the next episode, which should be up before too long. I'll see you then. Bye.